Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're doing a couple of uh, expected value questions. So let's take a look at this first example. Marion reaches into her purse and randomly selects two coins, and uh, the coins were five pennies, so those are worth one cent. And there's two five cent pieces, there's three ten cent pieces, and there's one. 25 cent piece. Okay, there's only one of those. So that's important because we're picking two co two coins out of the total. So we're gonna make a tree diagram and determine the probabilities and how much the coin's value is worth, and then the expected value. So the average amount of money that she uh, uh, pulls out of her purse. So let's take a look down here. I've got a tree diagram basically already done, although I should probably write it more like this. The probabilities usually go on the branches rather than here like this, but we'll go with this because this is, this is correct. This is the probability of the first coin being a one cent coin. It's 5 elevenths because there's 11 total coins and 5 pennies. And the probability then of the second one being a penny is 4 tenths because now there's 4 pennies uh, left in the purse and 10 total coins. So that means the probability of uh, getting two one cent coins when you reach for two coins in this purse is going to be 5 elevenths times 4 tenths, which is 20 out of 110. So that's where this probability comes from, right? So these over here, x is, we should probably define what x is. x is the total, total amount of two coins, okay? And this is, of course, just a probability that uh, this happens. So the probability that you reach into the purse and get two coins and it's worth two cents is 20 out of 110. Okay, now here, uh, here we've got all the possible uh, values, right? So you could get a one cent coin and a one cent coin, or you could get, to get uh, six cents, you could pull out a one and a five, or the other way around. 5, 1, right? So you're going to add those two probabilities together. These are over here. That's 1, 5, and that's 5, 1. Okay, so these probabilities are 5 elevenths times 2 tenths, which is 10 out of 110. And this one here is going to be the same thing. 2 elevenths times 5 tenths, which is 10 out of 110. So altogether, we got 20 out of 110. Okay, next we look at 10 cent coins. That can only happen if you pull out a 5 cent coin and a 5 cent coin. And that happens over here. And only here. So that's 2 elevenths times 1 tenth, which is 2 out of 1 ten. So that's why we have a 2 out of 1 ten there, right? Uh, next we can get 11 cents if we pull out a 10 cent coin and a 1 cent coin. Or a uh, one cent coin first and then a ten cent coin. So that is here and here. Okay, so this one is five elevenths times three tenths is fifteen over one ten. And over here we've got also fifteen over one ten. So altogether it's thirty out of one ten, right? And we just continue this process. Fifteen is a, a ten plus a five or a five plus a ten. And we get those probabilities using our tree diagram over here. We get 12 out of 110. And here, uh, 20 cents, that's only if you do, if you got 10 cents and 10 cents. So that's only one branch here. Uh, that is 3 elevenths times 2 tenths is 6 out of 110. 26 is if you got a 25 cent coin and a 1 cent coin. Or... The first one's a one cent coin, the second one's a 25 cent coin. So we add those probabilities together. 30 cents is a 25 cent coin and a 5 cent coin, and, or a 5 cent coin and a 25 cent coin. So we add those two probabilities together. So that's over, over here 25. Uh, 5, that's 1 11th times 2 tenths is 2 out of 110. So double that, you get 4. The last one is 35, so that's a 25 and a 10, or a 10 and a 25, right? Notice that 25 
25 is not possible because there's only one 25 cent coin. So don't, you don't have to add that probably. Only one 25 cent coin. One way to check your answer is to add up all these numerators. They should equal 110 because all these probabilities always have to equal 1. And if you add these numerators, you do get 1, so it is correct. Now, to get the average amount of money that you pull out of this bag or this purse, you need to do the expected value, which is the probabilities, times the amounts. So just multiply these together. 2 times, two times this fraction, 6 times this fraction, 10 times that. So this whole calculation, if you add up all these probabilities, uh, that will give you approximately, or that gives you exactly, I think it was, yeah, I think it's exact, or maybe, no, that's uh, repeated. Okay, so it is exact, I guess. Anyway, you get about 12.7. Okay, you get approximately 12.7 cents when you pull two coins out of this purse. Okay, so that's it for that one. We're gonna do one more. We'll do number three here. Uh, so this guy and his, uh, his tennis partner win a doubles tournament. Their win allows you to select a prize. However, the prizes are indistinguishable from each other because they're identically, identically wrapped. So it's like random. There's three prizes worth 50, two worth 25, and five worth 10. What's the expected value that they get? So that is just, uh, expected value here is just like the other question, the, the amounts times the probability. Here's the formula. I'll just rewrite the formula. Expected value equals the sum of the amounts times the probability of that amount happening. That's what the sum is. That's what the sign means. You add them all up. So $50, and our probability is 3. There's 3 prizes, and the total number of prizes is 10. So you do 50 times 3 tenths. Plus, there's two of these prizes, so that's 2 tenths times 25. And the last one, there's five prizes, 5 tenths times 10. And if you add that all up, you should get $25. Okay, so that equals $25. So that's the average amount of money you would win if you pick these prizes at random.